Okay, we've got some people saying that the nation of Israel is a fake nation. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 48, verse 4. Behold, I will make you fruitful and numerous, and I will make you a great company of people, and I will give this land to your descendants after you as an everlasting possession. Everlasting possession. Now, I'm not saying that the government of Israel is a saintly one. They're not. But when God makes a promise, he keeps it. And this word was given to Jacob. Jacob's name was later changed to Israel. This was before my Messiah, Jesus Christ, walked the earth. And it was also before Muhammad walked the earth. Okay? Now, Israel is going to be facing some dark times. That's going to be called uh, Jacob's trouble. They'll be literally almost obliterated. Almost. Nearly. But they will be protected by the Creator. They won't be completely destroyed. A remnant will be spared. For the nations that go against Israel, the apple of God's eye, you're going to be crushed to pieces. You don't mess around with Israel. It doesn't matter how their conduct is. He made a promise to protect them. He's going to do it. You guys are going to get crushed. Now, what I say is this. I have no animosity towards the Muslims or towards the Palestinians. I feel bad for what they're going through. But as a Christian with convictions... I know that the land belongs to Israel. And to be truthful, that's not even the real size of Israel. Bibli biblical Israel, scriptural Israel. The, they're not supposed to look like a piece of Swiss cheese. They're supposed to be a lot bigger than that. But anyway, God bless you all. Have a great day. The feathers may have been ruffled. It's going to happen. You've, you're going to do it either way. You can't please everyone. All right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.